For our last example, they're going to start throwing these at you here shortly where they have you graph two lines on the same graph. Basically, they're two different problems. They just want both answers to go right here on the same coordinate axis. Again, I'm going to draw my x-axis, my y-axis, label them x and y. Okay. I look at my two equations. Equation one, y equals 2x, is what kind of line? Uh, horizontal. I mean, uh, horizontal. Slanted. It's slanted, right? It's got x and y in it. As soon as I see a slanted line, I'm immediately going to a chart. I'm picking some values for x. Preston, pick a value for x. Um, one, two, three. That's three values for x, but I'll take it. One, two, three. I just wanted one, but that's okay. Preston's going overboard here. Give me three numbers. All right, one, two, three. And that's good that he picked three because that's not going to fit on our chart, so we can see what to do in that situation. So Preston picked one, two, and three for us. What the equation tells us is whatever x is I put into the equation, I'm supposed to double it to get y, right? Two times x equals y. So x is one, double it, you get two. x is two, double, you get four. x is three, double, you get six. If I plot all three of these points, one right, two up, starting from the origin every time, two right, four up. Starting from origin, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, four, five, it doesn't fit, right? So when that happens, strike that out and go the other way. So three is too big, right? So go back that way, the next number is zero, right? So let's go zero what? Zero, zero. Zero, zero, right? Double zero, you get zero. So zero, zero is also a point. So then we connect those dots with a nice straight line, like so. And there is y equals 2x. The other equation, again, looking at recognition before we graph it just to see what it is. y equals 2, what kind of line does that make? That makes a horizontal line, right? Immediately I know it's a horizontal line. I know it's, it's going to be at 2. So 1, 2, up. Horizontal line through there, there's y equals 2. No graph, ne no chart necessary. The graph is the answer. Okay? I don't need to see work on y equals 2. That's how hard it is to graph it. It isn't. All right? Recognize it for what it is. Graph the line. Put arrows on the ends of the line. Use a straight edge when you draw it. Blue line is y equals 2x. Red line, y equals 2. Notice they cross the point 2 comma 1. You don't have to identify that, but just know that's where we're going with this eventually. We're going to be graphing two lines, finding a point of intersection. Um, that's going to be an important value down the road as we continue in algebra.